Hey guys, Down Phoenix here. I wanted to talk today about microtransactions apparently coming to Cyberpunk 2077. A representative of CD Projekt Red said that they were looking into it for the multiplayer component after the game is launched. And of course, a lot of people are throwing a fit after it because we thought CD Projekt Red was one of the good ones, you know, one of the studios that would give gamers the best possible value and not milk us with things like microtransactions. The thing is though, microtransactions, don't like them, don't buy them, right? I don't buy them. I love playing games, but when it comes to console games and PC games, I don't mess with microtransactions. Never felt the need to. I know, for example, when I played through Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Ubisoft wanted to sell me microtransactions in order to make leveling up and getting gold quicker. Um, that was like a time boost or whatever they wanted to call it in order to make the game quicker to play. And for some people, it might be something to consider, if, especially if they don't have a lot of time to play video games in the first place. I mean, I really don't either, but I also just don't really agree with the policy of microtransactions uh, in that regard. The only way that I kind of like them to some degree is if they're just for cosmetic items. When you got a game like Overwatch, for example, where you can use money to buy loot crates to get more cosmetics or to buy specific cosmetics. Not really the best way to go about it, in my opinion, but it is a way to go about it in a respectful manner that allows everybody to play together. You know, I know everybody fl is flipping out, of course, over Modern Warfare, having microtransactions, all this stuff, but the thing is, this is the first Call of Duty game in... Uh, shoot. Since the original Modern Warfare that didn't require you to purchase map packs or season passes in order to get the latest maps, which would segment the player base, and that was a really dangerous precedent to set. Uh, so microtransactions have helped with multiplayer-focused games like that to kind of keep players together by not selling items of actual content to players, just letting them buy cosmetics and things like that. You know, that I don't have that much of a problem with. Personally, as long as it's kept to just that. Some companies, of course, are really greedy with microtransactions. Um, you know, companies like 2K and EA and whatever, you know, which actually EA, the last couple of releases they had, Need for Speed Heat and Star Wars, you know, Fall, Jedi Fallen Order, neither of them have microtransactions or DLC, which is a good move. Maybe EA is actually changing their tune. We'll see. Probably not, but let's hope. <laughs> but anyways, I guess a lot of people think that that CD Projekt Red is changing their tune because, oh, we're having microtransactions in the game. Guys, do you realize just how much content and how much work goes into one of these CD Projekt Red games? And some people are really willing and able to put more money into the game to be able to customize their character and stuff like that. Um, I don't really have a problem with it as long as there's customization to begin with. Like, an egregious example of microtransactions, in my opinion, is Fortnite, which, yes, it's all cosmetic-only stuff. It doesn't affect the way you play the game or anything like that, but you literally just get random character every round unless you spend some kind of real-world money, which I just don't like that at all. It's really unfair in general. Like, you should at least have a little bit of customization, you know, to uh, give people at least some semblance of uni uniqueness in the way they look, their character. Uh, so, yeah, I don't like it when it's that hardcore where you have no choice to do customization unless you spend money. That would be kind of crappy, but, I mean, as far as the core gameplay is concerned, Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be great. And if it does happen to have microtransactions, which they didn't even confirm, they just said they were exploring that as a possibility. So it's not even a definitive thing, and maybe they won't with the backlash that you guys gave them, which is fine, of course, you know, but just realize part of the reason why we don't have $80 to $100 video games for new releases, at least for North America, obviously Canada has $80 games, uh, part of the reason for that is because of having things like DLC and microtransactions, it allows companies a way to monetize for players that will be willing to pay, so just keep that in mind in case CD Projekt Red wants to sell you, like, neon shades for your character or something stupid like that. Down Phoenix out.